so we've landed. We landed? We just took the car? Yeah. The rental car? The, the funny thing is I haven't driven in like four years and... Um, which is not funny for me. And I'm about to drive and also we're on the other side of the road as well, which I've never done that before. So this is going to be a bunch of new experiences for us. Maybe we switch, I don't know. Maybe we just try it around the parking lot and then let's see. Okay. okay. I made it to our first destination only 50 minutes after we've started, really. It's Stellenbosch, but we realized what's crazy about this place is that there's literally gates and fences around every property. Luxury prisons, anyway. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, but we're about to get some bikes and maybe go to the wineries from there or just figure out the best way to go see wineries. So apparently there's a wine bus that just takes you to different wineries. Or was it the wine train? I think the train is in another town. Should be a lot of wine today. Are you ready for more wine? I'm not ready for more wine. I still feel nausea from the consumed wine yesterday, but okay. <laughs> Orange drinks, cheers. We're taking a break from wine. Drink. Alcohol. <laughs> to vagina. To the baby. baby. Afrikaans, you have to really roll your R's, so we're basically fluent now. What's uh, the journey today? About four hours, yeah, the, three the longest uh, leg of the stand. 80 kilometers. We survived two days together so far. Yes. No we... crimes been committed against us. Knock on wood, touching all wood. Touching wood. There's no wood in this car. Impressions of South Africa so far. I've been here a little bit longer. I've been here for, I guess, about nine or ten days now. My impression. That's the kind of content we need, Mary. Next model. Listen closely, it's Mariette's pee. <laughs> And done. It's like people are living in two different eras in this country. Like the white ones are living in the present, most of them. And then you see these people walking up big hills, yeah, up mountainous hills. hills. They have no car, no money to go for yeah. the bus. Yeah, it's literally all the white people in the cars. We made it! Marriott is breaking her way into this building. It's a beautiful little, supposed to be a farmhouse. Take us on a house tour. Okay, toilet. Oh, there's the toilet. That's what I was looking for. Room number one. Wow, it's so nice. We have a whole entire table made for 10 people. We are three of 10 people. Let's head up these stairs. Nice decor, little windows. <laughs> Room number two. Number two. This one has good vibes. Yeah. Yeah, like a little Maybe jumping two. door. Maybe it. Okay, that's for the better. <laughs> bathroom or another bathroom. And room number three with four beds. And a hot dog the We don't even have to go see the penguins. There's penguins <laughs> there. A hot tub. We're gonna have a good time here. Really? We are in the middle of a load shedding right now. As soon as we arrive, 6 p.m. to 8.30, load shedding. This is when they just cut off the electricity because there's not enough electricity in the grid. So they just like shut down different districts based on different times. It's a little dark in here. We've started to add some candles. We can't use anything electrically right now, so we're just playing some games. What are you doing? Fire. For what? For a bright. What is bright, whatever. What is it called, Mariette? A brine? Brine. South African barbecue. We have like three places of barbecue here. We're totally um, 
Good. Yeah, let's say we're burning down the house. We're burning down the house. <laughs> Look at that! He thinks we're getting advice from a local. That is. Yeah. We're also like in the back with the hot tub. We're doing the exact same thing, and it's working really well. I feel like I'm going to fry. You can see that our tower has changed from a square form from a tower form to a more like teepee form. It is direct fire, is that good for it? No. The garlic bread is so... Jay's, 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 Jay's. You okay? <laughs> this is the farmhouse. Our farmhouse. Where we would like to stay for a month. It's a farmhouse, but it's still beautiful. A kind of a safari. Video. There's a carriage what I bought my daughter for a wedding. Ah, cool! I would have wedding the range of They say there is only 15,000 white rhinos in the world left, and 3,000 black rhinos in the world left. We South Africa got a big, big problem with poaching. I got it so cute. Is a zebra skin, black or white? I guess black. You think black? Yeah. That's a good uh, choice. Most other people say white. Yeah, because the legs is more white and the stomach, but the uh, skin is black. Okay. And the skin makes the white stripes. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello! Hello! Hi! <laughs> so we just kind of spontaneously are now going on a strawberry picking. Ready to pick some strawberries. And shitting our brains out. <laughs> we ate something dodgy last night in our braai. <laughs> and we're about to go make homemade fertilizer. Poison that <laughs> Strawberry fields forever. I feel like I am actually a muscle berry picker. I didn't go for any on the edges. I went straight in to the middle where the potential snakes and spiders are. like you pick too many. We always say the most like introspective things, things when we're off camera. And say what you just said again. I was just saying I never expected coming to South Africa but soon or doing a safari, but I did it. Here we are and uh, we're really happy. We like it. As more and more people spread the word of mouth, more people will come here, but it's kind of nice. They still want to touch a lot of Things like uh, remotely working, uh, like the airport of George will make the, this land. More connected. We've arrived at the beach near our house. It doesn't have a name. I don't think there's a name. I don't know if you can see it, but Fabio's hair is covered in sand. It is so sandy and windy here. And what are you drinking? Delicious Turkish wine. Turkish wine in South Africa. That's from uh, the Turkish airline. Yeah, we, we saved this bottle from the airlines and now we're breaking it out. In South Africa. We are on day two of doing a braai. This is our second braai in two days. Uh, we are experts at this point. You know, you gotta make the square, tower, and then you gotta add little pieces to the starter fire in there to start building the flames up, heating the wood up on the side. Today we have a braai pizza specifically for braai, and we have chicken for the braai as well. The corn. And corn for the braai, and I've said braai about like 20 times in this video. Let's bry. Let's bry. Let's get bry in. Okay, children, what's the plan for today? We're leaving Grut Prat River and we are on the way to Kniza, another little beach Niza. town. Kniza, no K sound. And you pronounce the Y as well. And we're gonna stop along some of the garden route stops, like a place called Wilderness. We're in George right now. We've decided to go for the more treacherous route that apparently has snakes, if we're not super aware, but it's also a very steep, steep climb. We're gonna have fun. Up the Bedouin Trail. What is this called, the Bedouin Trail? 
the Badoo Inn, something like that. We made it to the top. Sweaty. Sweaty. Short but tough. Tough. That was only like 15 minutes, but we're like, yeah, this hike could be done with. All right, we've come across a water obstacle, and the only way to get across is to, well, use this boat that's been made there to bring Hello. us across. Marriott, show us how it's done. Hello. This is the toll bridge, you have to pay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two big smiles. But do we actually need to go to the side of the Oh yeah, maybe we do actually. Do. What side? So now we're on the wrong side of the river. So we need to go back. This was just part of the squid game. We should be just on a squid game. So where are we, everyone? Heaven. In heaven with a lot of catamarans. We are in Niza. 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 Nice. Oh, did I say it wrong again? You cannot say this <laughs> Day three of our brides. We did three brides in a row. And this time it worked perfectly. We have a wonderful flame. How are we such expert briars? Fabio, what's your number one vice, advice for the bride? It's vulnerable to start. Can I leave some space for the flame? Marriott, what's your biggest advice for a bride? Since we're experts now, My three days in a row. My advice would be wait for the flames to dissipate completely. It needs to be embers. Um, we've burnt some food stuffs because we're too impatient <laughs> after Stop two food. hours. <laughs> yeah. Stop the we've food. burnt nearly everything. And that's probably why we have food poisoning sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. Cool. What do we have tonight on the menu? We have um, breakfast for dinner. Right, we have a brunch. <laughs> We have a brunch bread. Mm -hmm. We're having egg sausages, uh -huh. bread, marshmallows, and, marshmallow. and chocolate. Sounds very like well rounded. There she goes and gets back on. Juicy juice. That's huge ass watermelon. I don't Ooh. think we're gonna get through it, but let's try. Big ass piece of melon. What do you think about the green root? The garden root. Oh my god. I always say green root. We mispronounce or like misstate everything in South Africa. Mm -hmm. I wish that we didn't have to work next week because otherwise we would just keep on going down the garden route until the very, very end. And tomorrow we are in Mussel Bay. Then we do another bry, fourth bry. And what number of bry is this? Bry number four. <laughs> <laughs> Brian number four. Brian number four. And Marriott, what's on your face? A mask, face mask. Oh my god, this is a perfect picturesque <laughs> place for a bry and a face mask. Look at Fabio. Yeah, Looking at cool. another successful bry, hopefully successful. This is our schooner cabin. How do you say that actually? Schooner? Schooner. Schooner. And we have made it to, what is this island called again? Thiesen Island. Thiesen Island, pronounced with the TH, we don't know. It is the world's most gated island in the world. In order to get to that side, you have to cross this like terrifying jail bridge that has electric fences around it just in case you try to climb on the side. Yeah, we're afraid to go on this grass in case there's a sniper lying around. What's that? This is a milk tarp from the 17th century. It's a 17th century milk tarp. Yep. Where, why is there cinnamon on it? Where does that come from? Cinnamon came from trading between the Japanese and the Dutch. How do you know all of this? Yeah, Good. Milky. Milky? <laughs> All right, we're at the Wild Oaks Market in Sedgefield. It's quite a hippie market. It's beautiful. It doesn't have the best view. We buy CDs and cassettes. Everybody brings his own meat and cooks it all. You bring and you share. Uh, okay. All right, we found more beer and we're listening to Celine Dion. Welcome to Muscle Bay. Muscle Bay. Muscle Bay. Funniest place on earth. If you want to have chips in Muscle Bay, you'll find them apparently. We're playing Jenga, and what happens if we lose? The loser. The loser will get 
this amazing tattoo. On the back of their neck for the whole night. What is that tattoo even of? It's a dragon. It's upside down. It's a yin yang and two dragons. Saturday night in Muscle Bay. We're at our fourth bar actually. This is my fourth vodka soda. Um, this is the best one so far, I would say. It's a, it's a very low selection of nightlife in Muscle Bay. So far, so good. And we're about to play some pool. We made it to Muscle Bay. Well, no, we survived, uh, we survived a night at Muscle Bay. And we actually found out there's some redeeming qualities to Muscle Bay. Which is the bay, coast. the coastline, yeah. And when it, you're here on a sunny day, it's a completely different world than when you're there on a rainy day. So we are on the last 200 kilometers of our road trip. What were your top highlights? Give one each. I think the Insightful video.